There's nothing like it in terms of presence. You don't even have to be a motorcyclist to see it and know that it's a Harley. My name is Bjorn Schuster. I'm a manager in the styling and design department. There's just really no greater icon of a Grand American Touring motorcycle than the Ultra Limited. As you're walking up to that machine, or as you see it ride by, it's impossible to miss. The Ultra really is the ultimate, or the pinnacle Grand American Touring bike. We were in a very kind of unique place post-World War II, as being one of the few manufacturers who were producing very large displacement motorcycles. During the 1950s, there was the Highway Act, which was a massive expansion of our roadways and our interstates. And what that led to was a giant boom in road trips. So it was a perfect fit, because we were there with the motorcycles that were actually capable of doing long-range tours. This was a result of our big twin architecture, going back to the knucklehead in 36. There's always been a need for wind protection on motorcycles. You kind of trace it back to WLs and wartime bikes. The first iterations utilized simple wrapped canvas and clear flexible screens. In the 60s, that's when the utilization of fiberglass really comes into play with the 1969 FLH. This is kind of where the batwing fairing is born. Harley Davidson was the first OE to take that idea of a fiberglass fairing in conjunction with bags and offer it as a touring package or an accessory kit. It really sort of cemented Harley Davidson's touring identity. That big twin is really on full display. All the mechanicals, the push rods, the heads, that massive primary case on the low side of the bike. These are all distinctive features that are unique to Harley Davidson. It's geared a little bit more towards that full long range comfort. It's gonna have a bit more wind protection. Things like a taller windshield, lower fairings. It's got a slightly larger, wider seat. These are all things that matter when you're putting in a six, seven, or 800 mile day. You really come to appreciate these kinds of amenities. There's really no greater machine for getting out there and putting in heavy miles.